September 14th, base weather right here. And the reason I am starting in this area right here, asteroids, near Earth asteroids, is because, okay, these right here are anything under 0 0.2 or 0 0.7 lunar distance is between the moon and Earth. And these are near misses that were posted but i'm focusing recording this for future reference we're looking at the october put it right here this right here okay as you can see for october there is nothing nothing really that's poses a threat except maybe this one right here 2018 qe which is 1.7 lunar distance so I'm just basically, this is just, I'm just saving this data for possible future use. Now going on real time image gallery for Comet. We got one right here posted on the 13th from Michael, I can't pronounce that last name, from Swan Hill, Australia. And he's basically showing us the Comet 2023A3 and comparing the magnitude with this right here, Delta Saxon magnitude 5.2. Remember, it's still in the Saxon constellation. Okay, still under the sun is still difficult to see because the location proximity of the sun to it with the sun. He describes it right here in the details okay looking at the sky they do have it posted now last time they didn't have it posted so let's take a look at the latest information they have that's where it's located in that constellation right near hydra in the ancient time this would have been considered in the constellation hydra that's where it's at and that's the magnitude they have it at 5.5 which is pretty good pretty pretty decent but the only thing is you can't see it because it's underneath the sun let's take a 3d look orbit look okay looking at the 3d orbit 14th of september let's take a, a glance okay first let's align it with earth okay here's earth right here right here right there so if we're looking at Earth from Australia, the, it's underneath the sun. Let's take a better look angle. So there's the sun right there. And it's underneath it. That's the reason we can't get no images. Because it's too close to the sun. Try looking at the sun with a telescope will burn your eyes. But we do have spacecraft that could do that. We got the web, we got the Hubble, we got the Soho, we got the stereo and all these other spacecraft. We got filters that where the ground base can take a, a look at it with filters, but they, they won't provide no information. You get used to that fact. So it's basically under the sun. Now let's take it one month. Let's take a couple of days. Okay, on the 27th, that's when it's closest to the sun. Perihelium, that means closest to the sun. And we will we'll be able to... Okay, here's Earth. I mean, this seems to change. No, no, I gotta wait till October 13th. Let's say if it did break up, like the expert said, the uh, second era, murder in his name. Guy that had the video on it, I think it was video number two. So let's take it to the 13th. Okay, it's right here on the 7th. It almost, let's take it to the 8th, 9th. Okay, right there. That's when it's lined up straight with our the orbital plane. Here's Earth right here. Make it smaller. There's Earth right there. Right here. So we're looking at it. If we're looking at it from Earth, it's kind of like bullseye, almost. But remember, this is subject to change. So that's where it's at right now. If it did break, okay, the 11th, 10th, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th. Here's the 13th. We still don't know how. It'll be between Mercury and Venus. We're looking at approximately 40, 42, 43 million miles from that distance to that distance subject to change the reason i'm picking thir the 13th is because it has a lot of religious meanings to it going on the the miracle of the sun the prophecy of fatima and the number 13th so if it did let's say 
something was to occur on the 27th being in that trajectory we don't know if one of the prophecies might fulfill itself it just depends on on a lot of factors a lot of tests that's going on right now so that's just my opinion so that's that's where it is i just wanted to do this for safekeeping book basically for keeping at the asteroid information for possible for future use so still out of sight can't see it unless we have the big boys and the space telescopes look at it and give us an idea what what this thing's going to happen what what the comet's going to show us or do okay until next time my father out